the god image refers to our picture of who god is god image is extremely important and how do we develop this god image or the perspective uh, of the person of god for us to know the real personality of god we have to study his word and here is what the word of god has to tell us the nature of god is revealed in creation we also learn about god through the scriptures the third way in which we can know the person of god is to study the life of jesus and in his covenant names he has uh, revealed some of his attributes what are these attributes you know he says i am uh, jehovah jireh meaning i am the lord god your provider he says i am jehovah rafa the lord god your healer he says i am jehovah shama the Lord who is always with you I am Jehovah Shalom I am the god of your peace I am Jehovah Sidkenu which means I am the god of your righteousness among all these attributes that we could look at uh, I have chosen to talk about the goodness of God God is a good god the bible says that there is no evil in him everything about god everything in god is good so the works of god are always good He never did anything which was not good. In all the expressions of God's goodness, uh one of the expressions that I want to focus in on today is the life of the Lord Jesus. God's best expression is in the goodness of the Lord Jesus. Just think of the goodness of God that God would plan before the foundation of the earth and wait for the appointed time to send his son to redeem you and I. What a great God and what a good God. Jesus is the best representation. He is the perfect representation of the Father. And Jesus revealed uh, the nature of the Father and this is what is said about Jesus. You know in Acts 10:38 we we read that he went about healing people. He went about delivering people. He went about, you know, uh, uh, lifting people up from from uh, the bondages that the enemy had brought into their lives. So these are the good works which Jesus was doing and we know that he is the correct and the perfect representation of the father he was doing what the father wanted done here on the earth and i want us to take some time to look at uh, different instances in in the life of jesus when he did these good works uh, and see the heart behind these good works that he did firstly you know jesus expressed forgiveness this again is the heart of the father the father wanted people forgiven and that is why jesus came to forgive people jesus also demonstrated compassion towards the people jesus is revealing the nature of god in the compassion that he demonstrated the father's works that jesus did so here are all the things that jesus did you know, jesus healed to demonstrate the works of the father jesus delivered jesus performed many miracles we've looked at the works of jesus the healings the deliverances the miracles but ultimately jesus completed the mission uh, that he came here for which was to redeem us and to grant us salvation god uh, uh, has accepted us through the lord jesus christ we can overcome jesus has also restored and renewed our lives jesus did say in john 16:33 that in this world you will have tribulation just by virtue of the fact that we live here on the earth we are not exempt to problems we are not exempt to uh, challenges we do face challenges we do face problems but we overcome this world has problems because of sin right sin is uh, extremely destructive and the world has been corrupted so the destructions that you see coming uh, are from that source god is for us god has good plans for us god wants to cause us to prosper he doesn't want to harm us you no know, god is good all the time and today you and i can put our trust in this same god you know he's an unchanging god he never changes when good things are happening god is good even when bad things are happening the bible says that in his nature god is good 